Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota RAV4 XLE in the color gray. Let's take a look. Starting up front underneath the hood, we have the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, automatic transmission. It has up to 203 horsepower, 184 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 1,500 pounds. Up front, you've got your LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, fog lights down below. Onto the side, you've got 17 inch alloy wheels. Then, side mirrors include integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. On both of your front handles, you'll find these two double lines. We'll talk about those guys more on your driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting, and up top we have a roof rack. On the back of the unit, on the right hand side, you have your XLE all wheel drive trim level badge. Left hand side, you've got your RAV4 badge. Underneath your rear logo is your backup camera. To open up your cargo space, reach underneath the logo and press the button, and the lift gate should automatically raise itself up. Inside, you'll find that your second row seating has a 60-40 split on the left-hand side. This allows each side of the seats to function independently. If you're looking to lay your seats down flat, you can do so by releasing these little handles on the top outside corner of the coordinating seat you want downwards. Across the back here, we have your interior cargo cover. This guy extends outwards, locks into place on these little hooks on either side, and helps to keep private any goods you keep stored down below so that nobody can look in through your windows and see what you have. Down below, we also have the interior cargo net. This guy can be install installed in a couple places and a couple ways. Currently, it is just wrapped up inside of its packaging, but the main purpose of this is twofold. First off, it helps to reduce the amount of movement of any goods in the back. And secondly, it has a built-in pouch design, so that means you can tuck some goods inside of it so that you can easily access them whenever you want to. Across the back, you have across the dedicated floor space and the back of the second row seats, you have this RAV4 branded rubber matte cargo liner. This guy also serves two purposes. Firstly, it helps protect your vehicle from damage from your cargo, also protecting the cargo from damage from the vehicle. Secondly, it helps to keep things nice and clean, because it's much easier to simply pick this up and out of the space to rinse or shake any dirt or debris off of it, versus things clinging to that carpeted interior. On the right-hand side, you'll find your interior lighting. You've got a 12-volt adapter and your little storage cubby. And if you're looking for your tire kit, you can look down at the ground. Underneath here, you'll find this little tab. Lift this guy upwards, and everything you need will be stored right underneath. To close it up back here, you can reach up to your handles on either side, or just press the electronic button on the left. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. So inside your interior upholstery is the black soft tex leatherette with black and also some light gray stitching for some contrast. In the middle, you have access to a folding down armrest slash cup holder, which can fold away to increase your seating capacity. Then looking forward, on the back of your front passenger seat, you've got pouch storage. Then back of the console, you have your air vents and chargers down below. And currently we have the RAV4 rubber mats installed inside this unit. In your door, you have your storage space and power window control. Now back to your handle, you've got the two double lines. These guys indicate keyless entry. So if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here or in here to lock and unlock your unit. Inside, power windows for both front and back. You've got your window lock, power lock system, and side mirror controls. Up top, you have memory seat settings, which of course means you have electronically adjustable seats, back, front, up, down, and lumbar support. Hood and gas release are on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. On top of that, controls for dash brightness, automatic headlamps, defrost for your rear windshield wiper blade. Then you have your heated steering wheel and power trunk release, and a little storage cubby up top. Taking a look at the steering wheel, it is black leather with black stitching. Left side, controls there for your dash display, hands for communication and your volume control. Right hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, which includes sonar and lane departure. In the middle here is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently you're looking at the customizable home screen. Under this is your menu. You have all of your adjustments for audio, phone, app, projection, info, display, and setup. Setup is your specifics, Bluetooth, audio, phone, voice, on-suite apps, clock, language, theme color settings, etc. Then, audio listening. This includes AM, FM, and satellite radio. 
full Bluetooth connectivity, and you've got optional USB adapters throughout the vehicle. And at the bottom is your optional navigation. You can choose to connect it through tethered connected services. Right hand side is all of your radio controls, tune scroll on the bottom right, volume control on the bottom left, four ways in the middle here. To the left, right next to your steering column, is your push start ignition. And then you have your climate control center in the middle here. Dual climate control up front here means you can either have your temperatures functioning independently or you can sync them up to have them work together in unison. There is the optional eco heat cool setting available for you in this unit. Left of that is your defrost for front and rear windshield. Underneath we have high low settings for your two front heated seats, driver front passenger. To the right is your automatic start stop. To the left is your traction control. Down below you have your little storage cubby, 12 volt adapter and USB adapter. Then you've got your gear shift, parking brakes, and driving modes. So you've got your Econ, Normal, Sport, Snow, Mud and Sand, and Rock and Dirt. Behind that is your cup holder spaces and your console. This guy opens up inside. Storage all the way down in there. Right hand side, there's a storage cubby that goes the whole way across the dash. Down below is your glove box. Up overhead, you've got your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls, and the controls there for the Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this RAV4 XLE in the color gray. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.